Hey guys, it's Alyssa here and today I shall be doing my October wrap up. Couple things, your girl has no hair anymore. Not only do I not have any hair anymore, but I no longer have any like light brown or blonde in my hair. I'm completely back to virgin hair. I love it. I love having no hair again. I love going this short. I haven't been this short in like years. Also just put on these hoops to look like I'm more put together than I actually am. I want to film this and get it over with and have October be over. I don't want to be filming this right now. I just kind of want to die. I just feel awful. I just don't want to be doing this, but I'm here sacrificing for y'all. October was a weird month of reading. It was supposed to be one thing and then took a really weird turn and turned into another. I had this whole big <laughs> plan for October. I was hoping to do like a like vlog for it and the vlog failed. The footage was awful. What I had tried to do in October was I tried to read all sci-fi and fantasy but like strictly like adult sci-fi fantasy and I failed halfway through. Like a couple things I learned from the like the whole project that I was trying to do was one I don't know why the two genres get grouped together because they can be so drastically different and also they're two very intense genres. They're genres that take up a lot of space in my mind to read and I just couldn't keep it going for a month. Then I was just kind of like not really doing anything and then for kind of like the last week of November the get graphic readathon, get graphic with it readathon happened. So I decided to participate in that. There are like two big chunks in my month. The one chunk is sci-fi fantasy and the other chunk is graphic novels. The first book that I read in the month was All Systems Red by Martha Wells. I really enjoyed this. I gave it four out of five stars. I thought it was a really solid sci-fi book. It was basically about this cyborg combo of the two has some human parts has some robot parts basically what they refer to themselves as a murder bot basically the adventures that this murder bot has kind of had a twist at the end that i wasn't expecting so i'm very curious how the rest of the series is gonna go but it's a good i believe it's a novella series because the books aren't very long really enjoyed it i thought it was great and Really no complaints. The next one that I read was one I didn't enjoy as much and that was A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I ended up giving this three out of five stars, probably more like two and a half. I didn't like this. I didn't like the plot. I thought it wasn't very well fleshed out and it just, I don't know what it was, but it was very character heavy and I didn't really want that. I wanted I don't know. I don't know what I wanted, but this didn't fulfill it. This is a book that focuses on their characters a lot, but I didn't like any of the characters. I hated like all of them. I didn't care for it like a single character. I don't know if it's a spoiler or not, but um, basically there's a point where someone goes against someone else's um, medical wishes for like religious reasons. Um, and uh, that made me really uncomfortable and I really didn't like that and I thought that thought a really bad message. Not cool to go against uh, people's wishes. Not cool. It didn't live up to the hype for me. The next one is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This one it gave four out of five stars. Really solid. This one was not the most thrilling fantasy I've ever read by any means. Knowing how long this world goes on for, I think this was a really good start to this whole world because I know there's like the original trilogy and then like three more trilogies and I feel like it set it up really really well. This isn't necessarily a character driven story. I didn't really care about any of the characters necessarily. The storyline was kind of interesting but like it also kind of didn't have a plot and also there's like hardly any part of him being an assassin or an assassin's apprentice. There's hardly any talk of that. It goes from like him training to be it and then like all of a sudden he's out like being an assassin and he starts mentioning being an assassin and it doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. It didn't make any sense to me. Why would you name a book 
assassin when he's not being an assassin for 90% of the book and when he does turn into being an assassin it's like not talked about. Overall I'm still gonna read more in this uh, world because I think the world is very very cool. That is really what drove this home for me is the world is really really cool. So four out of five stars. I'm hoping that each book keeps getting better. The next book that I read was The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. I was trying to do like a lot of different types of sci-fi and fantasy and so this one I picked because it was like an OG sci-fi and I really enjoyed it. Wow did I enjoy this book. I ended up giving it four out of five stars. It was really good. I loved um, listening to it and reading it at the same time and I just thought it was really fleshed out. I thought it was really well described. I was kind of worried for like a sci-fi book set in like the late late 1800s. I was like, how is this gonna go? But it was really good. And I could definitely see how, if this was on the radio, how people could like misinterpret this for being like a true alien invasion. A lot of the things happening and it felt very realistic. Like it felt like a very, very realistic alien invasion if we were to ever have one. It felt like very realistic. So it was, it was good. And that was where the sci-fi fantasy ended. And then I read a random book and then I started reading graphic novels. The random book that I read that um, was my favorite book of the month was Where Are the Girls by Rory Power. Now, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to read this one because I had heard so many mixed things. Mostly I had heard mostly like, oh, I loved it until the end. And I was like, oh, gosh, I'm not one of those people. Usually I'm like all about endings. I was like, oh, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I started it. I once I started it, I could not put it down. I think I read it like in a day or like over like two days or like a day and a half. I, I loved it. This book, I loved everything about this book. Do not read this book if you are squeamish whatsoever though. This book is very gruesome. It goes into very vivid detail. It's definitely, I think in the horror genre, nothing that's like, it's not like weird violence or anything like that. It's just when it's described what these girls have, which is known as the tox and what the tox does to their bodies. I'm not a very squeamish person, but I was <laughs> squeamish during parts of this. I really loved when the second POV came in. That's when this story took on a whole different meaning to me. I really loved how we found out, hmm, maybe everybody isn't what we think that they are, or maybe people aren't as great in our heads and how we view them as they actually are or how they view us. And I think that was like a big message for me coming away from this book. Thought that was really well done. I don't really understand the criticism of the ending. Um, I, I, I don't, I, I, I just, I'm saying, I'm being truthful. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get why people didn't like it. That's just me. I felt like it was, Yes, it was open-ended, but like, if you're thinking of open-ended, you're not talking about like the series of unfortunate events open-ended. That's an open ending. That is literally, you get zero answers about the entire series buildup. That's not the case with this book. You find out answers, you find out all of this stuff, you get some resolution. I don't get people saying that this is like an open ending. It's open to more things to happen in the future, but I felt like it was enough of an ending to be satisfying. I can understand if you're a person who really, really, really needs like definitive things to happen, how you might not like it. You're like me who kind of doesn't mind a little bit of openness, then I highly recommend this book. I think it's very thrilling for not being a thriller, technically. Uh, it felt, it read very much like a thriller to me and I think that's why I really enjoyed it. Here start the million graphic novels that I read. The first graphic novel that I read was Descender Volume 1. I give this four out of five stars. Um, really solid beginning to the series. No complaints, really. Um, it was just the beginning, so 
I don't have many thoughts. Then started all of the books that I read for Get Graphic With It readathon. If you want to see my more in-depth thoughts, watch that vlog or just skip to the end of that vlog. I'm not going to get more in-depth because there's no point. In the order that I read them during the readathon, the first one was My Beijing, which I gave four out of five stars. The next one was Operatic, which I gave two, two or three stars. It was actually really nice and like kept these graphic novels checked out. So you're welcome. I can show them to you, even though I hate doing that. Read the first five volumes. I only have four here of Paper Girls. I didn't change any of my original ratings. I think it's like three stars for the first one and four stars for the rest of them. For the first time I read Paper Girls volume six and I gave it five out of five stars. Perfect ending to a series. I thought it wrapped up everything well. If you have not started Paper Girls yet, if this is the first time you're hearing about it or you're just thinking, hmm, maybe I'll get to that. I suggest reading them all together because if you read one, you ain't gonna remember what happened and it's very confusing and it really doesn't make any sense until you finish it. Next one that I read was Slam Volume 1 and I ended up giving this 3 out of 5 stars. The most surprisingly disappointing book of the month for me, which was shocking, was Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer, which I gave two out of five stars. And then I only have three of them here, but I ended up reading volumes two through six in the Descender series. I gave volume two four stars as well, and then the rest of them, three through six, I gave five out of five stars. Um, love this series, highly recommend. Wonderful sci-fi graphic novel series absolutely loved it. The next book that I read was Erased Volume 2 and I absolutely love this. This did have a little bit of basic issues in the beginning but I am very excited to continue on in this series and I give it five out of five stars. The very last book that I read in October was Lumberjanes Volume 12. I can't believe I've read 12 volumes in this series. It's crazy and I gave it four out of five stars just like I do all of them and that is it. That is all. That is all I read in the month of October. October was a weird month. It wasn't what I was anticipating, but it ended up being good. I read some new uh, favorites, I guess, and uh, some not new favorites. Some of them were not good at all. If you've read any of these books, please let me know what you thought down below. I would love to know your thoughts, whether you liked them or not. And uh, if you're new here, I try to post bookish videos every week. And uh, I guess until next time. Bye.